Hi, I'm Ian Williams, and with me I have Brian Eagleland and Zach Schumann. So, uh, yeah, I forgot why I'm standing up here. <laughs> have any of you ever had been in the situation where you're not quite sure what to say when you first address an audience, like right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, the two people have. So, let me start with the stat, okay? According to the Institute of Mental Health, 74% of all Americans have some form of speech anxiety. It's the number one fear. So I've been a trainer at a corporate 100 firm for 12 years. And uh, I've been in many predicaments where I've been in front of a crowd and had to struggle through words. Okay, And I'd rather, I'd much rather have an opportunity to practice that. And while there are organizations out there like Toastmasters, which foster a similar environment, there are no dedicated online collaborative sources to date. Okay, so to, to solve this problem, we developed Pitch Pro. Think uh, YouTube meets TED Talks. So now I'm going to press, pass the ball to Brian to cover the rest of this. Hey, thanks, Ian. All right, so that fear, that number one fear of, of uh, looking bad in front of a crowd or failure, or whatever's holding you back from stepping up to um, stepping in front of the crowd to, to pitch your ideas or whatever you need to do. That's just one of the issues that uh, we are mitigating with Pitch Pro. Uh, with it, you can practice from the comfort of your home behind your own PC. Um, you can uh, take as many takes as you need, make as many mistakes as you need, and when you feel comfortable, you can upload your video and get feedback both on content and performance. Um, after watching your video, other users will be given the opportunity to evaluate your performance um, based on some gradated scales of basic presentation metrics such as eye contact, body language, vocal quality, confidence, and flow. Uh, comments will also be, can also be left on content. Uh, so why would anybody watch your video on Pitch Pro? Well, to encourage engagement and participation, you need to earn points by providing feedback to others in the Pitch Pro community. Um, if you are in an urgent situation, points are also available for purchase. Now, um, for those who want to take their evaluations beyond peer review, we are also adding value to the site by having the option of purchasing a professional review, as well as um, connections to local events, coaches, and other materials related to public speaking. So that leads into our monetization of our concept. Um, as mentioned, there's some potential with the purchasing of points and uh, the professional reviews purchases. Um, but these professionals also re represent an opportunity to become a strategic partner by cross-promoting and pr purchasing advertising space on our homepage, um, or even bartering services with um, their professional reviews. And we've already started some negotiations with one of the mentors here, Susan Worley of Biz Remedies. So thank you, Susan. Um, another target market is companies wanting to either uh, begin or expand their training programs. This would represent sponsorship opportunities where their logo would be prominently displayed on our homepage, as well as allowing your employees access to either a private corporate hub or uh, as well as use as a public forum. So, other potential customers and users are business professionals who frequently give presentations, students who uh, need critiques on their speeches before it's due, or any individual interested in honing their skills. Um, and we, we know that Toastmasters alone has 37 million That's time. paying Thank customers. <laughs> Judges, your three minutes starts now. So this is for, I guess for everyone, two thirds of ours are uh, MVP and user design. Yes. So anything you get, I would be good for not only you guys, but anyone else who's presenting to make sure it's covered. I don't know. Right. So can you elaborate a little bit more on product development, where you're at? Sure, so um, we've developed a, basically a YouTube channel was the easiest way for us to uh, upload content. Um, as you can see, we had some technical difficulties in terms of putting together um, a cohesive presentation. Um, uh, so the YouTube video, um, we have uploaded uh, several videos and, and provided feedback on one user test case, which was um, well received. Um, 
And uh, in terms of design, uh, you know, there's a lot of validation that still needs to happen. Um, as new to the process, you know, there was a lot of learning that went into the weekend, and um, we pivoted a number of times, so it took a while for us to drill down onto a solid idea. Sure. Any intellectual property here? Anything that's secret sauce? Um, so the hope is um, if you can gather the, the community around public speaking, um, that there's really no um, cohesive community around that online that uh, the making the website sticky would be um, like kind of like owning the customer channel for public speaking would be the primary way of um, uh, securing you know a, a revenue ultimately okay, so from Friday night you, as you said you pivoted you what is it that you learned that made you pivot yes um, so um, a lot of what we learned uh, came through the, um, the process. So we started with this concept around self-actualization, right? So like what kinds of technologies can we build? And not having a developer on the team, it became very challenging in terms of thinking about a technology product. Um, uh, so we pivoted back and forth a number of times on between like tech products and something in the services uh, business. So. I would say um, things that we learned um, from the experience. Um, I mean, we learned so much. It's like really hard to to uh, give you your cut. Basically, drill down to a very specific niche that you want to focus upon. So why do you? Do, oh, sorry. Why do you do over Toastmasters and your competitors? Why do you guys? Um, so it comes down to uh, that Toastmasters only meets fairly infrequently and not necessarily in a location that you want. So the idea is that you have a platform to practice things before you have a public speaking event and it would have been wonderful for us as a service as well. Thank you.